Hello Virgos, this is your daily for the 15th through the 16th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, guys. We're going to take that one. All personal reading information, the website is down below the video, okay? Let's see. Balance. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. Let's see what tarot messages we have for you guys for today. That's your prayer and your thing for today, okay? Balance. What messages does tarot have for my Virgo friends for today? Hmm. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Huh. This could involve a same-sex relationship, for sure. But I think for a lot of you, this is regarding yourself. Um, balancing out your energies. Maybe not being so emotional. Um, maybe being more passionate. More loving. More giving. Um, taking the initiative to do things. But this is more about balancing out your own energies, having that harmony within yourself, okay? And I think maybe most of you are probably feeling very emotional today um, and feeling kind of out of your element of this earthy energy is what I'm getting here. And I think a lot of you probably need to be easy on yourself um, because we have those days sometimes. Sometimes, you know, we may want to flip out or, you know, we're not going to be calm, cool and collected every day of the week. That's just not going to happen. OK, you may not be belligerent, but, you know, you may feel out of your element and that's that's normal. OK, so to be easy and nice and sweet to yourself, to be forgiving to yourself. OK, loving yourself, just trying to find that equal balance. All right. Then we have the high priestess under the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, so this is using your intuition here. Using your intuition to do the things that you know are right for you. So let's see why this is happening today. Hmm. A lot of you are feeling... You're feeling hurt. You're feeling put out. Um, some of you are actually feeling like be, you've been put out of a home or something here and having to start over. Having to move very quickly for some of you. Yeah, I think a lot of you have been put out physically put out of a home, separated from somebody and having to start over and just feeling very emotional. But, you know, you know, you can pick it up and go on. You know, you have to. Okay. I'm sorry you guys have been put out for those of you who have been put out of a home and you're having to like relocate like right now. Um, the world is actually like moving. So it's like getting yourself together, um, you know, kind of basically giving yourself some self-talk like, you know, you can do this. You're Virgo. Okay. Um, actually knowing that the steps you need to take to make this move, it has to happen. Um, getting your ducks in a row, planning things out. This is all about you and getting your stability back here. This is also a lot of you ending something difficult with someone. Um, ending a cycle. You guys are going into a new cycle here. You're facing all of the things that, you know, the karma relating to whatever individual that you guys have moved on from could possibly be a Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo like yourself, uh, Sagittarius energy here. Could also be Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, even. Um, could be any sign here, guys, that, that you guys are, you know, separated from or moving on from here. But um, just take the situation as it resonates with you 
and um, go from there, okay? But um, good luck, you guys, for those of you who are actually being forced to move on from something out of a home from someone, okay? Let's see the influence here. Yeah, I don't think that a lot of you feel like, you know, either you or the other person feels like, you know, you're getting what you deserve out of this situation. You've been struggling with this for a while, I feel, with this um, Eight of Swords energy here. Feeling trapped in a situation that you feel like was not benefiting you at all. Like you were doing most of the giving. That's Gemini energy. Let's see the outcome. I think you will move to another place. I think you guys will find... Ooh, I think you will find your stability. I think um, you will get your gumption. You will get your um, your initiative, your that energy up, and um, it will be activated. And you will do whatever you need to do to bring this um, uniformity back into your life, where you know things have been disrupted here. You know, okay. So my Virgos. Uh, that's what I have for you guys. We have Aries energy here. Um, but again, it does not have to be those signs, okay? That's what I have for you guys, and I will speak with you soon. Bye now.